Welcome to our virtual law legal analysis series. In today's episode, we will discuss the case of Ladock v. Sir GR No.L19201. This landmark case was decided by the Supreme Court of the Philippines on June 16, 1965. Let's dive right into it. Facts on May 15, 1957, a certain Mr. Jose B. Jalandoni donated P10,000.00 to the Catholic Parish Priest of Victorias for the construction of the Victorias Parish Church. The donation was received by Rev. Father Crispin Ruiz, who was then the Parish Priest of Victorias. Rev. Father Casimiro Ledoc succeeded Rev. Father Luis as parish priest of Victorias in 1958. In 1960, the collector of internal revenue assessed Rev. Father Ledoc P1,370.00 Indonese gift tax on the P10,000.00 donation. Rev. Father Ledoc protested the assessment, arguing that he was not the recipient of the donation and that the Roman Catholic Church is exempt from taxation. Issue Whether the assessed donees give tax on the donation is valid Ruling The Supreme Court held that the assessed donees give tax is valid The court first noted that the exemption granted to cemeteries, churches and parsonages or convents are pertinent thereto and all lands, buildings and improvements used exclusively for religious purposes, is only from the payment of taxes assessed on such properties enumerated, as property taxes, as contradistinguished from excise taxes. The court then held that the donee's gift tax is an excise tax imposed on the transfer of property by way of gift inter vivos, and not a property tax. As such, the exemption granted to religious properties does not apply to the donee's gift tax. The court also rejected Rev. Father Ledoc's argument that the Roman Catholic Church is exempt from taxation. The court held that the exemption granted to religious institutions is only from the payment of real property taxes, and not from the payment of other taxes, such as the donee's gift tax. Disposition The Supreme Court affirmed the decision of the Court of Tax Appeals, which upheld the assessment of the donee's gift tax against Rev. Father Leda. Commentary The case of Leda v. Sir is an important precedent on the taxation of religious institutions. The case clarifies that the exemption granted to religious properties does not apply to excise taxes, such as the donee's gift tax. This means that religious institutions are subject to the payment of excise taxes, even if the property on which the excise tax is imposed is used exclusively for religious purposes. The case also clarifies that the exemption granted to religious institutions is only from the payment of real property taxes. This means that religious institutions are subject to the payment of other taxes, such as the donee's gift tax. The case of Ladakh v. Sir is a reminder that religious institutions are not immune from taxation. However, the exemption granted to religious institutions is an important one, and it should be interpreted narrowly. That's all for this episode. What do you think about the topic? Feel free to comment and suggest what topic you want us to discuss on the next video. Stay tuned for more legal insights in our future episode. Remember, understanding the law helps us comprehend the intricacies of our legal system. See you next time. Like and subscribe.